Forage crops in California, we're kind of in the middle of harvest for ryegrass, some of the wheat and oat silage from the winter's coming off right now. Uh, prices stand pretty constant, $55 in the field looks like for your winter forages in the north part of the valley. As you go south valley, that price gets higher, $70 per ton, because you know damage to crops and inventory down there are gonna create some additional buying pressure from those folks. Hay prices for tests continue to stay high in the $360 to $400 range. Non-test hays come off quite a bit. Berry harvest is underway. Blueberry prices seem to be steady. The crop looks good. Strawberries are under pressure. A lot of that weather on the coast side and the west side of the state. Um, just a lot of flooding, a lot of issues getting the fields right, getting planted. Uh, so strawberry prices have actually been pushing up a lot of pressure because of supply issues over there. Tomatoes, a little late. As far as getting them in the ground, we're about three to four weeks late getting transplants in. One of the worries we've got in the tomato crop on a go forward basis is, you know, when that crop's gonna come in. Is it all gonna come at the same time? If it does, it's gonna put pressure on the processors, right? Because um, they can only handle so much to the plant at a time. So where do you fall on that planting schedule? So it might be a good time to start talking to your grower rep and making sure that you're one of the first ones in the plant versus somebody they push off and push out to the side. That's kind of a quick and dirty and especially crop market right now. And uh, stay tuned for more, thanks.